Hello there everyone and welcome back. It's Carol here from the Crafty Emporium. I wanted to pop by today to show you two new digikits that are going live later on today. And I'm calling these wraparounds. Okay, now then. There's two sets as I say. One is flowers and one is fruit. Alright, so I'll show you the flowers one first. And then I'll show you the fruit one so there's some pansies so there's a, a big one here and there's a double small one here and i'm going to show you some examples in a moment of what you can do with them so there's two patterns on here and two sizes of circles and the same on this one and on this one Okay, so I've done on the first page a um, my notes part so that if you come up with any ideas, you can make a note on here to sort of keep with the kit so that you know what you can do with them. And then there's the fruit one. Now, the fruit one, I've also included the pansies because I just thought, you know, if anyone liked the pansies, because I do, <laughs> um, you might not want to buy the flowers kit. But you might want the pansies, so it would save you buying the two. So there's the pansies again. And then there's some grapes and some cherries. And again, two large designs, two small ones. There's some peaches and oranges. There's some pears and some apples. So that's the fruit one. And as I say, I'll show you a couple of ideas that I've done with them. So I actually cut one out and made it into a tag. So that was the the pear one. And then this one I used inside of a CD case. So I actually stuck it on the background um, so that you can put something in front if you so wish. And then I used the smaller one as the closure for the flap of the CD case. And then with the pansies, I did these as a wrap around this little notebook. So this is the smaller version. So it wraps around like that. And then obviously you've got your little notebook inside of there. This one I did on the flap of an envelope. So what I did was I cut away. Let me open it up to show you. Um, I cut away the excess of the envelope. So there look so I actually cut off the flap and just left a thin a thin strip Let's see if you can see that a thin strip there and then just cut around the pansies and glued them onto that little strip to then act as the flap of the envelope and then wrap the ribbon round so then I could tie it up um, to act as the closure and I added some beads on a on a ball pin that I was actually gifted from Sheila if I remember correctly I also put some glossy accents on the pansies as well and I actually highlighted it with um dusty concord was the ink the the distress ink that I used so that was what I used that for and then if you've got a journal page then this is where again they become the wraparounds so you know how we normally wrap a doily around our page well i've actually cut one of the images out in and i've stuck it on a, a larger doily um so that would then just fold it and crease it that would then wrap around the page like so so then you've got um, some tuck spots here. By the same token, you could wrap them around this side of the page. And obviously you've got the other half of the image on the other side of the page. Now, although I've attached it to a doily here, you don't actually have to do that. You could just cut out the, the shape itself. And if you use just the shape itself, you could attach it to the top 
part of a page as well so that it acts as a, a tuck spot there or you can add it to the bottom of the page in which case then it can become almost like a pocket to be able to insert something in the bottom. So that's why I've called them wraparounds because they are basically to wrap around your page in your journal but there's all sorts of other uses as well anyway that's the new digital kit that's out okay thanks very much for watching i'll put the links in the description box down below and i'll see you all again soon draw for now